Hello everybody, this is Everyday Taipei and today we are going to Gongguan Night Market. So just to show you where it is in relation to everything, this is Taipei 101, this is Xilin Night Market, and this is Taipei Main Station. Gongguan is on the green line off of the Gongguan exit. Uh, we've been here before, a little bit on that later, but we're going to start at the beginning of the night market, go through two of the blocks, go through a little side alley, and end at the movie theater. It's pretty cool, so let's go check it out. Okay, so this is the beginning of the night market. I have another video on Gongguan that kind of goes around the general area. Today I just wanted to show you the night market itself. If you wanted to see how you get here from the train station, uh, you can check out that video. Link is in the description down below. But basically, we're going to start walking here. It's a really small night market. I kind of like it. It's kind of straight to the point, not a whole lot of other stuff. Um, right off the bat, there's a few good places. I wanted to highlight one here that I really like. It's on the right. It's uh, a corn stand. And so I, would, I actually got corn this night and I just kind of wanted to show you what that stand was like. Um, if, I feel that whenever the food gets a little bit too busy, when there's a lot of stuff, I, I tend to not like it. I tend to like the basics, things, and they do it really, really well here. Uh, before I came here, I wasn't really interested in the corn, but once I had it, uh, I tend to get it a lot now. Um, it's different from the corn that you have in the United States. It, somebody told me that and I thought that was the craziest thing, but once I had it, uh, you can definitely tell a difference. The texture is a lot more firm. They say it's QQ, like it, they say it's more squishy or uh, elastic, but it, it, it has more meat to it, whereas in the United States, the corn is a lot more juicy and filled with uh, more liquid and sweeter. And so if you get something like this, it's about $3 here, $3 US, and it's, it's a much more substantial snack than you would think. They, cut, they coat it in this kind of like, I don't know, barbecue sauce, soy sauce type of mixture, and then they put other stuff on it. That yellow sign in the upper right hand corner has the flavors. I forgot two of them. There's like an original, there's like a spicy, there's like a seaweed, and I forgot the, the fourth one. But I got it and it is really good. I'll show you a picture of it, I guess. What does it look like? Here's what it is once I, once I first got it and then I bit into it and then here's a little bit closer of a shot. So they put that sauce on it and they put a little bit of seasoning on it and they just give it to you. They do simple things really, really well here, and I appreciate that. It's, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but as a Western person, I think it's too simple of a snack or something. Uh, like if I'm paying money, I want something a little bit more, but that it's really good, trust me. You, you should, if you see it, give it a shot. It's definitely worth the money. It does take a little bit of time, so you place your order and they have to like roast it. Yeah, I don't know if you saw those um, things rotating the corns on the cobs, but they, they steam it first and then when you place your order they put it on those spits and then they uh, roast it for a little bit of time to get a little bit of char on the outside that makes it really nice. So it took about five minutes, not that long. Just the course of that video pretty much, a little bit longer than that. So, like I was saying before, this night market is very small, and I really like it. It's like short, sweet, to the point. So you kind of go up that street, and you go around here. I sit on this wall to the left when I get my snacks. There's a few other places you can sit, but this is the closest, and I don't know. It might be a little bit awkward because it is high traffic. Like, it's kind of not busy right now interesting to note i filmed this a day after 228 which is a holiday here public holiday and it serves as a uh, would you say it's like the independence day july 4th a really big historical event happened on 228 and people it was a really big commotion and so they they made a holiday for it it's a part it's a big part of their history and so it's pretty cool very big day so this is the second leg of the night market I 
really wanted to highlight this line to the right. There's always a line at this cart with fried sweet potato balls. I tried to get a little bit of shot in there. All these people are waiting for it. Uh, right here, you can kind of see this lady. They kind of put the sweet potato balls in that um, big dish there with a bunch uh, with a bunch of oil. They fry it up. I you 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 won't miss it if you come here. There will always be a line for it. And I never get it because there's like two other stalls that do the same thing and I don't know why th that one is particularly good, but a bunch of people like to go there. And so you will not, if you go here, there will be a line there, guaranteed. One of the few things I guess that's really renowned, I will make an update on, on the day that I decide to get that. This place I can recommend. So I think this is Michelin suggested. Um, this Tongyobing place here is really good. So it's a green onion pancake like you see here. This guy's flipping it up. You can order it with egg and with, uh, then you add other stuff like basil, ham, bacon. Something they're known for there is their honey mustard sauce. You don't see that everywhere and so I'd recommend it I said this in um, my Dongmen video at the Tongyongmen place there, but I usually go pretty simple. I get egg, basil, and just their sauce, a little bit spicy. So here I would probably do the same, um, egg, basil, and then their honey mustard sauce is perfect. The line is not as long as that sweet potato line, but there usually is a line here, and sometimes it does get pretty long. But that one goes pretty fast. and. So yeah, I highly recommend it. It's very good. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire night market, really. I re <laughs> I've already said it three times, but I really like it. Um, and what I'm gonna do is now show you like a little side. I'm I'm not too sure if this is considered a part of the night market, um, because it doesn't really super feel like it, but it kind of sort of is. So you take this like little side alley here and there's a bunch of these claw games and I'm going to show you a ramen restaurant. The ramen restaurants seem to be getting a little bit more popular lately. They've been popping up everywhere. Um, this place to the left. I'm going to stop. Turn. Some people are going in and out. Ramen. There. Sign. They have, you know it's popular when they already have the line, the queue, uh, the line, the ropes for the line. Um, because there is usually a line there to get inside. And so I haven't been there either. There's been, there's a lot of choice of ramen here. And so I've never particularly gone to this area to get it. I, I haven't found really a need to. Yeah, this area, some restaurants closed down, but those claw machines are here. It's a little shopping, there's a Malaysian place. Then we come to this kind of like intersection, which, it used to have a lot more boba than it does now. It has a come by and another one. And you can take a left and you can go down this way. And it has like a few restaurants. There is a stinky tofu place there. Uh, you know me, I don't really get it. This yellow sign, you cannot see it, but it says Amore Pizzeria. If you're like me, Tourists probably won't care about that, but um, it's very authentic, uh, like American style pizza. Like it's not like New York style or anything. Here's the movie theater. It's more like a much better round table. And like for someone who lives outside of the country, that's something that I want to indulge in every, every so often. Like really just American style food even though Taiwanese food is great and awesome, I love it. Every once in a while, you just need that uh, you know, pizza place. And so that place is really good. I, I recommend it, I highly recommend it. Here's another ramen place. I was surprised that it was closed, this uh, wooden building to the left. It's that place always has a line for sure. I had to pick between the two, I would suggest you go to this one because it's been here longer and the line is pretty intense. But other than that, that's pretty much the end. I just wanted a short little sweet thing of the Dongmen Night Market. I hope you enjoyed it. If you 
have any other places you'd like me to go, I'd definitely check it out. Just leave it in the comments down below. Leave a like for me. It'd help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Other than that, I'll be seeing you.